in my first couple of years of doing stand-up comedy, I found myself talking a decent amount about being South Asian. My father and I aren't very close, okay? He was born in a different country, he was brought up in a different country, there was a lot of generational gap. Which was a big contradiction for me because, you know, my parents had a really bad arranged marriage and it caused me to reject being brown. But growing up, he just didn't know anything about me. And yet when I started doing stand-up, all I wanted to do was talk about these generic stories of being brown and then maybe I actually was more embracing of my brown identity than I realized. Mistranslations is about one child of immigrants trying to put together a broken family. Growing up, I knew very little about my parents. Um, I didn't know where they came from, how they met, what they were like as children. After my parents' divorce, my dad went to India, didn't, didn't tell anybody and never came back, and I lost touch with my mother. This book tracks a year of my life as I try to reconnect with my parents. I went to India and saw my father for the first time in 11 years. Yeah, so. I was still resentful of the fact that we didn't have the relationship that my friends did with their fathers. So let's go to India. When we got to India, my father could not have been more excited. It really meant a lot to me that he would open up to me about who he was and how we got to this point as a family. I, I feel like there's just so much about him that I learned in the car ride. That's probably more I know, more than I, thought I found out about my dad in, in 30 minutes than I have in like 30 years on this planet. I went through the same process with my mother that I did with my father. Every year growing up, I'd ask my mom, what is the meaning of Christmas? And she'd say, it's when Jesus died on the cross. And I'd say, mom, why did Jesus die on the cross? And she'd say, well, it's because he chose to be a carpenter instead of a doctor. <laughs> my mother dealt with a lot of depression growing up. She has for decades thought that nobody loved her. I'm in at one point in eighth grade, she, you know, after a bad fight with my father, she just locked herself in a room essentially for it was it was at least six months. I think a lot of immigrant families, they don't know how to deal with mental health issues because they came here to survive. Right? They're trying to get to the end of the day. They're trying to get to the next day. So my mother didn't really have the language to talk about the fact that she was feeling depressed. Before I decided to write this book, my parents they were distant footnotes in my life. I honestly didn't think about them much on a daily basis. But when I did, it would gnaw at me. And it would deeply bother me. By the end of the book, they were human to me. And for that reason alone, I'm grateful I went on this journey. <laughs>